Hi, maybe I'm Suisa, maybe I'm not, but you can call me right, so that's my nickname. Welcome to my channel. Oh, welcome back. I am an elegant leisure content creator, and I also stream on Twitch, where Mondays is architectural review, Mondays, Mondays, <laughs> and other days is gaming, ad, and also discussions like a podcast, or just chatting, and also, um, I guess sometimes some reaction videos. I, the elegant leisure content pad is variety content, and I also wear elegant like loungewear and you are here on your leisure time which is for me just your free time and that's how we make it together elegant leisure content today's gonna be a financial video oh yes to the maybe finance playlist another one i'll put a suggested one there if you like these type of videos and today it's actually a two-in-one yes two-in-one deal you're welcome um, I want to only normally talk about the truth about Italian Ali, which is a video from John Fuller. Sorry if I'm saying your name wrong, and his partner. And they were talking about the truth about retirement. And basically, I will link the video also in the description. Um, they were, I want to do a video about this because they were saying how the truth about Italian Ali. He has a title, it's like basically here. And they were saying that, oh, it's it's kind of a lie people are just getting you to like click like it's like clickbait and nothing saying that they're saying they're retired early but they're not they're doing other things and there's passive income etc etc involved and they're saying well retiring early actually means more financial freedom because at 30 you're gonna you're gonna be bored they tried it and they were bored she said that she could have do it longer but he's like oh no i was bored etc etc I kind of disagree. I'm not retired early. I find I disagree in a sense thinking that retirement in early means that you can't do anything. It means that you don't have to do anything. They're saying that it means that, oh, retirement is when you don't do anything. And I think retirement is when you don't have to do anything because there's people who are retired today and have to still work. So technically, they're just retired from their main job that they were doing for over 35 years of their lives. And getting the social security or the pension and plus now they're working a part-time job because that might not be enough too so they're not financially free but they're retired you know what i'm saying so i feel like it's not the same but by definition he's not wrong and she's not wrong by saying well retirement by definition is is literally ceasing to work and receiving the money you're owed etc etc so I switched it up and I'll talk about that again. I already said it. I talk about it. I'm going to go quickly about that because it's going to be a quick video. I'm trying to make them under 10 minutes when it's not architectural review. I try to make architectural review less than 10 minutes. It's too difficult. I do my best, but it's rare. It's rare. It's too hard. I have too much to say. But basically, as I said again, I disagree with that take. I agree a little bit with saying, okay, retirement, if you want to go by the definition, is true. But... I feel like you can, people who are retired currently today are still doing things and getting money for it, but they are still retired. It's just of you don't have to, instead of that you can, you don't have to work. And I think everyone should be thinking about financial freedom, even if you want, you want to retire 65 to help you on the future not depend on a social security check or a pension. And this is the second part of the video. Because Forbes released on August 31st, today is um, the third, uh, the fourth, side, the 4th of September. And Grayson Zanga is the journalist for this one. And basically, Social Security Trust Fund will now run out of money by 2034 without congressional action. But Forbes, it's on Forbes. But basically, they're saying that the Social Security Trust Fund will run out 2034 and the Medicare one will run out by 2026, which is literally in five years. And they're like, oh, it's not gonna disappear. It's just gonna be 78 cents to a dollar and 91% of the normal, like how to say, distribution for Medicare. But still, the fact is that you can't depend on the government. And I know you'll be like, oh, but I'm not in USA, this doesn't, work for me no same for france because france every time a new president is voted in and yes i'm talking about french because i'm french um when every time new president coming in they just push back the retirement or something happens and they put it back and then they push it back like they already change the system because them themselves are like how are we gonna pay people when they retire this and this and this and in france you don't have like an america the 401ks the god iras the ira all of them tax the fraud things so 
at least if you're in America, take benefit if you can of those things so you can start building a fund for future self because you can't depend on the government. At least that's my opinion. I'm not a financial advisor. Should I start with that? I'm not a financial advisor. Do your own research. Um, best yet, get an accountant if they answer your email. <laughs> if they answer your emails or answer your call to do an appointment, get one of those. Get a financial advisor, all of those. Um, because things are serious. And I feel like um, they don't teach us this in school. They don't um, talk about it enough uh, on the news to be like, hey, even though you don't want to be financially free or retire early and you want to work like that, like, oh, we don't want to do it. But that's still a privileged thought because some people are like, oh, I would love to like do not have to think about it. I have to work. Like if I want to take a day to day off, I can just take it and work uh, the, and the next day or in two days and continue. And I know I'll still have food to, for the next day. A lot of people still work, work in paycheck to paycheck. So to me, Saying financially free, financially independent, retire early, like the FIRE movement, is just an acronym to remember easier. And even if you want to retire at 65, still do your research about that so you'll have a backup plan and not have all your eggs in one basket because obviously uh, you can't trust nothing no more. You can't trust nothing no more. So... I didn't want to be doom and gloom. Usually <laughs> my videos are much more cherry. But I wanted to really talk about this because I was like, I'm going to do a financial video, maybe find about like retiring early. Like I would love to, but it's like, to me, I'm just trying to have a backup plan in a sense in case government doesn't work. And also a plan in a sense of it's better to try to plan something. So you're, if anything happens, retirement fund wise to get normally, you still have a backup and something to rely on. So put like I want to install several baskets somehow, and it's best to start now thinking about it and doing something. Or even don't do like me. Don't procrastinate. Not procrastinate. Don't think on it too much and action on it and do something so you don't be left behind in the sense of not comparing yourself to others, but left behind by the government because they'll be like, oh well, we can't pay you um, what normally you're supposed to get. We're gonna give you fifty cents to the dollar, which is like half the money you're supposed to get. And knowing that in the future, seeing how inflation hits us with COVID, it, things are gonna be more expensive, even more, even quicker. You never know. COVID should have been a wake-up call to all of us was one to me too that we can't rely necessarily on what we know from the past, etc. We need to have several contingency plans. So that's how you don't have to be, how to say, in panic mode. Hope this video was helpful to let me know what you think. Even if you don't live in the USA or France, let me know if your government is taking care. If you don't worry about it, what what you what you doing? And France have life insurance though. They don't have tax deferred, and that's tax deferred. But they don't have all of the stuff they have. And I know you don't have to even do a four one k. Like you can just be in the stock markets. You can just be in real estate. Like there's a lot of options. You can I don't know. You can rent your car and like drive and uh, and put put your car to rent or something. I know there's things like that too. Like there's other options to like bring in something in case anything happens. But let me know if you like this type of video. Let me know uh, if you care. Let me know if you don't care. Dislike, like, subscribe, and watch other financial videos or whatever YouTube recommends you watch after this video. Thanks. Take care and don't worry too much.